Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Sway. What I want to cover in this session is how to create your own sways very easily using templates or creating your own blank sway. So Sway is part of Microsoft Office 365, so you do need an account and then you need to click on uh, this icon in the corner and you should see Sway in this list. If you don't see it, you'll have to go all apps and then this is listed alphabetically so you just scroll down until you find sway and then you click on it like so now i've already clicked on mine and i've already got one open so this is the front screen on sway and it will show you your previous sways and gives you the option to start from a blank one a topic or start from a document you can upload a document and if i scroll down a little bit on the screen you've got templates as well if you want to do a newsletter internal external uh, how to do something all these things are already pre-loaded and i'll show you how they are uh, structured in a second they just give you the basic idea like all templates do and you can see there's quite a few if you scroll to the right there that have already been designed and set up so if i just click a blank one create from new it should start me straight away into my first sway now you don't have to save anything when you're doing a sway it just automatically saves as you're going so i'll call this it's easy training and it can just be a little short one now the backgrounds um come from design so you've got storyline which is what i'm in at the moment is where you type things in and then you've got a design area and you can change the style of this so if I didn't like that style, which I don't, I can click on this style. And you've got, also got there, look, am I going to scroll down through this document or am I going to go across or is it going to be like a slideshow? Whichever one you want, I'm going to leave it on vertical. That's the one that it will be. And then you go back to your storyline and then it will have changed that. So you don't actually see that until you play the end product or play to have a quick look so if a quick look now you see it's picked up that color scheme and that's what it's going to do and then you go back to edit so what you have is so if i highlight this you can emphasize certain bits so i'll emphasize that and then you have a plus so this basically works a bit like wordpress if you if you're used to wordpress blocks it creates a block and you've got different types of blocks so it comes up with this first one suggested so you've got heading heading one text style an image a stack of like a group of uh, images or a group of text things you want or you can upload a document and then it breaks that down a bit more text media and you, do, you can embed documents and stuff like this and then you can create little groups and in groups you can have like a, a slideshow so i think i'll do a group first off let's do a little slideshow so add image image so what it does it comes up with um loads of different categories so i'm going to go for animals because they're cute and then you basically click on the images that you want to be in this little slideshow i'll click on a few and then you add them and they sit like so now when you've created that little group you've got a little arrow at the top a little diet a triangle that you can collapse and just tie that out of the way and then if you want to add the next section you can either click on that one and add it or click on the one below and add it so um, I should probably have added a heading there so call that animals we'll click in there animals can't spell animals so that's my little heading and that that means italics I don't know why they call it that but I'll put that italic and emphasize and then if you don't want that you can get rid of that with the bin symbol let's scroll down just get rid of these animals so what i want to do now is embed a little video so bottom of these so I'll collapse these out of the way uh i've got another little plus sign so plus so this time i'll go for media and embed now if i scroll down a bit right so what you need to put here is your code so i've got a a YouTube video there with some code highlighted so I'll just copy that come back into sway and paste it here and then if I play this 
you should see what happens. So there's my animals, little slideshow. And there was there's the video. So I'm not going to play the video because it goes on for 20 minutes. But if I go back to edit, hopefully you're getting the idea of how this all builds up. Now let's come down again and what do I want now? Let's have a bit of text. So you can just, this is just normally, let's have a bullet list actually. This is just normal text. Um, what you want to talk about. Um, dogs. I didn't have any dogs in there, but let's pretend I did. Cats, so that's the text. Nothing weird and wonderful about that. Um, you've got different um, types of groups, like that group there was a, a, a slideshow, but you could just have a stack, compare one against another, or as a grid, or just let it do automatic. It's up to you. But these are just, just different modules that you can put in to this sway, and different heading styles you can select as well. Now, as I've already said, when you play this, it shows you that there's not a lot in this one at the minute, and you, you see you've got this little scroll bar. So I suppose you, may, you might need to put some text there for people to use that, otherwise I might not see it. That's fairly obvious. But I'll go back to edit and have a quick look at um, design again. So design, like I said, um, if I put that into slides, let's see what that looks like. So now you are going through it like this as slides. If I play that, let's have a look. So down the bottom here, you've got your arrows. And then maybe that is easy. No, they're cute, aren't they? That, that's easy, easier to see. And then go back to the top. Edit. Um, I'm going to leave it on vertical after all that. So design, uh, you've got designs, different designs down here. So this is the color scheme basically it's taken. And at the top, you've got the option to share this with colleagues. So you can share this with people. Uh, you can send that link to people. Um, and then anybody with a link will be able to see this sway. Now, if I come back to sway, so that's that one done. Um, let's just have a look at another one. If we go from a topic, if I type in, for example, training and see what it comes up with, if anything. So it's looking for preset things. It's found one called training. And then I'm not going to fill this in, but basically you've got the structure already for you with all the different cards already set out or blocks or whatever you want to call them. And again, if you don't want the block, you just click into that block. So this is a group. Uh, you just get rid of that and do whatever you want. Sometimes these templates are more hassle than they're worth. But what I find them useful for is look at a template, see the structure that somebody else has created, then you recreate that from scratch yourself, that structure. It gives you the ideas, if you like, because um, Microsoft not always get it, don't always get it right. So that's um, that was a template on training if we go back to sway now this one is where you can bring things in from word and you can also do this in word so if i just quickly go into word um i had a video on this earlier transform what this actually does is transform this document into a sway web page is what we're doing now so that would create a sway which is quite cool straight from word but we're doing it from Sway itself. So what I want to do is upload a document and um, I've got the document in the business folder. This is an info pack. I'm just going to upload that, just double click that and it will create a Sway based on the content of that document. Now I haven't prepped that document at all. It's a very old document as well, so it might not look great, but you'll get the idea. Once it's loaded up, it will put it into the sway format don't have to save it but i can edit it and change anything any part of it that i want it's taken a little while it's a fairly big document should have picked a one page document okay so there it is you can see the company profile it just automatically creates the, the cards for you and then coming down quite a lot of information in there big long list lots of text 
horses. So they look very tiny, but when it's in full screen, they won't be. So I'll just uh, I'll just play this one so you can see it. So this is coming down the screen. So I'm just going to go down through it very quickly. So what you see very, very, um, which is very obvious, I think, is when the font types are changed. So the font's all the same up till there. That's all the same. Okay, the font on the right there is different. Stands out a mile. Never even noticed that. I've used that book for ages. But there you go. That's a Word document. And when you want to go back, you just go back. And now you can edit this in Sway. And if I go back to Sway itself, you'll have that document there. Look, I've already got it up. I've got it up twice. And all your Sways are just saved, uh, saved here. You don't have to worry about saving them at all. You've got Create New at the top. You've got these um, other options you've got in there. Tutorials, if you want to go into a tutorial, getting started, how to use Sway, which is basically what I'm doing. And like I've already covered, creating one blank, creating from a topic and uploading a Word document. Now, the other things you've got there is views, start from a uh, template, analytics. Once people start watching your Sways, you will get some stats coming up there. But that's all I want to talk about, and that is Microsoft Sway. Very easy to use. Nothing difficult about that at all. So hopefully that was of use to you, and I'll see you on the next one.